Hello friends and welcome back to the Prince Armory Academy. In this video I'll be delving into resin 3D printing by making some dragon scales for an upcoming armor project, and I'll be taking you through the process of making these first test pieces and doing some color samples for the client as we prepare for the full build. This video is made possible thanks to Elgu, and I'll be using their Saturn II resin 3D printer for this build. For the first test I'm using this scale design. When I first started this build I needed some help with the 3D modeling, so this file was made with the help of an artist by the name of Justin Lewis. I made a rough clay sculpt and asked him to make something loosely based on it. I'll put his Instagram link below if you want to find him. The first print turned out okay, but I did make a few mistakes. For one, I thought printing these horizontally would be a good way to speed up the print, but I must have messed up some of the settings because some of them welded to the support raft. It also didn't pick up the full range of detail either, which I assume is also related to the print settings. The scales also turned out very brittle, which if it was a figure that was going to sit on a shelf that's no problem, but if we're making something that we want to stand up to potential wear and tear and take some abuse, that's no good. And lastly, even though I like the design of the scales, I realized I would need to make some changes, so that's when I decided to dive into ZBrush and work on a Gen 2 variation. For round 2, it was clear that I was going to need something stronger. So after a few experiments, I determined that Sun Lu Toughness worked really well for this project. I would like to test more of their product line and other brands too, so drop a comment and let me know if you have any thoughts on what resin I should try for the full build. For this second attempt, I also picked up Eligu's Wash and Cure Station combo, which greatly improved the cleanup process. Now that we have some scales printed, what do we do with them? 
These scales can be used in various ways for costume and armor projects. Scale skirts are one such example, and I've done many iterations in the past out of leather, such as the recent Elven scale skirting panel, but using a 3D printer is going to be a fun new approach. And of course this concept can be expanded to make larger skirts or even filling larger areas, which will be the case for this project when it's finished. The process for turning these into something wearable will be similar to the leather scale projects we've done, where each scale is mounted onto a flexible backing, but this one will be bigger. But before that, I need to do some color swatches and confer with my client for this build, and make sure to get their input and preferences as the build progresses. Based on our initial discussions, we're thinking of a mix between black, purple, and metallic trim. I've sent them a few color samples so far, and we have a few picks that we like. But a company called Culture Hustle sent me some paints to try out, so I figured this project would be a good place to test them out. And this will let me give them just a few more options. This is the company that is known for making black 2.0 and 3.0, but they also have a lot of other unique paints and variety in their product lineup. For the first test, I'm using black 2.0. I'm just applying a light coat as I need to get down into the low spots, and I don't want to drown out the details. For the rest of the scales I'm using Black 3.0. I really like the deep inky look of the black here. Once those are dry, I'll be using Purple Haze to fill out the high spots. This has a very nice shade and is pretty close to what the client liked from our earlier swatches. Next, I'll be trying out the metallic colors. First up is their heavy metal gold. And the first thing I'm noticing is how good the coverage is, which is hard to find on a lot of metallic paints. Next is the copper. It's also very nice and goes on smoothly. Next up is the black gold. I really like the look of this. I don't think we'll use it for this particular project, but I'm going to find somewhere to use this color the next chance I get. I love this subdued look that still has some luster to it. And then I'll try out the silver. This also has an excellent coverage without needing to go on too thick, and it has a high luster. And lastly, the mirror silver. This is similar to the silver, but it's even more bright and shiny. The client has indicated previously that he likes silver for trim. I suspect that we'll probably end up using this. But what do you think? Which ones would you use in your own projects? And which one would you pick for this build? If you like these paints and would like to take 10% off, head over to Culture Hustle USA and use the promo code Prince Armory, or check the link in the description. And if you'd like to see how this build shapes up over the coming months, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn how to make your very own suit of armor, head over to our online academy and start practicing on some of the beginner to intermediate projects in the meanwhile. And while you're crafting, come hang out with us in our vibrant Discord community full of other makers and artists.